Welcome to Voice from the Real World. We have been looking at the Law of Creation. I want to do another review. This time we're going to look at, in the workbook, Lesson 326, just as a reinforcement and a review. I am forever an effect of God. Father, I was created in your mind, a holy thought that never left its home. I am forever your effect. And you forever and forever are my cause, cause and effect. As you created me, I have remained. Where you established me, I still abide. And all your attributes abide in me because it is your will to have a son so like his cause that cause and its effect are indistinguishable. Let me know that I am an effect of God, and so I have the power to create like you. And as it is in heaven, so on earth. Your plan I follow here, and at the end I know that you will gather your effects into the tranquil heaven of your love. I want to go back before we finish that sentence. Because it said, as it is in heaven, so on earth. Well, wait a minute. I thought we said earth had nothing to do with heaven, that earth has nothing to do with will. So why, why is Jesus saying, as it is in heaven, so on earth? What is he talking about, as it is in heaven? Whenever you get tossed up in his book, read the previous verse, read the previous chapter, the previous paragraph, and it put you into context and help you out. Let me know, in heaven... I already know. I don't, I don't need to let, have you let me know. I know. I was made as the true effect and the true attribute of my Father. And that's what I am. I don't need to have somebody tell me what I am. But here, you do. Let me know I am an effect of God, and so I have the power to create like you. And as it is in heaven, so on earth. So I, I want to recognize my ability to create even here on earth. What is my ability to create on earth? The closest you can come to creating in the illusion, in perception, is forgiveness. Why? Because I made something real. I made a sinful, ugly world, sinful, ugly people, and now I'm using vision and I'm shining the light of my mind onto them. I recognize in them the great ray that they are, even if it just looks like a spark at first, I ultimately sense it is the great ray. And I've changed this ugly world into an innocent world, into the real world, as, as the Course calls it, into the innocent sun. That is as close to creation. So as I operate, as we function in forgiveness, we're remembering how to create because of its extension of love. Remember what in chapter 1 it says, uh, a miracle is the maximal uh, amount of love, because love is maximal, that can be done in this illusion, that can be done in perception. The miracle is that extension of love. And so it is the remembering of how to create. That's why I'm teaching this. We change the law of creation. We remember the, that, how, did, how was the law made? It was made when He created. The Father created, that was the law. We made something. So we made another law, and we made that law by making. We made a world, and we made this law. What you project, you believe. What you believe, I must be. We made that law by making. Because we're, all we're doing is distorting what's going on in the heavenly thought anyways. So now let's read this, uh, the last of this uh, sentence. Your plan I follow here, and at the end I know that you will gather your effects into the tranquil heaven of your love, where earth will vanish and all separate thoughts unite in glory as the Son of God. Let us today behold earth disappear, at first transformed. How? Transformed from okay, this, this world, is transformed into the real world, transformed, then forgiven, because we've seen it correctly, we've forgiven. When you forgive one person totally, you've now unified and integrated, and now that the whole world becomes one, and you have forgiven the entire world. Forgiven and fade entirely into God's holy will. This thing fades away just like it's a dream. When you have a night dream and you wake up, you know, for a, for a split second, 
you remember the dream and then you and then you recognize no I'm not in a dream anymore I'm here and that dream just you know sometimes you can remember and I believe that the times you do remember are the times when the Holy Spirit's wanting to teach you something but it just fades away and it's like what was I just I oh, mean it was right there and it's and it's gone that's how this whole illusion will just fade away as you continue to get closer and closer to reality remember the real world can be increasingly experienced until it's easily translated into knowledge and that's what we're doing that's why we're here so until next time for more information about voice from the real world please feel free to visit our website at www.voicefromtherealworld.org or send us an email at voicefromtherealworld@yahoo.com. at yahoo.com thank you for watching